Hi everybody, uh, we're back with uh, Knowledge of Jaipuria and this time we got a hot topic, we got net neutrality and uh, we try to uh, align it with economic equality and how uh, net neutrality works with economic equality. We have got our internal expert Dr. Ritika Gugnani here, she'll be talking about net neutrality with economic equality and she'll be creating both these aspects. In a short span of time, we have become highly dependent on internet. If I have to connect with my relatives in different parts of the world, if I have to drive people out of their homes for voting, if we talk about economic decision making, I want to buy an insurance policy, I want to buy apparels, internet comes to our rescue. This seems to be a fundamental right for every citizen, whether we belong to India or any part of this particular world. So that means internet must be available to and affordable by all, and it should be provided in an unrestricted and unfiltered manner. Net neutrality is an idea that the ISP is supposed to provide you unfiltered and unrestricted access to the services. The service provider is supposed to provide you the same level of internet speed and it cannot filter the content. So users can access websites or any web services without any interference from internet service provider. So this is what we call net neutrality. So the two words, the key words that you have to remember is unfiltered and unrestricted access. There are two things which net neutrality has provided. One, you are able to express yourself. Second important thing which net neutrality has provided is the level playing field. If you want to start a new business, just host your website. If customers liked it, probably you can make it very, very big without spending a lot of money on big marketing campaigns. This is what probably Google has done. This is what many startups in India and across the world have achieved because of internet. So if there is no net neutrality, that means your internet service provider will have the power to shape internet traffic and probably he can take extra benefit from the services that he is providing. So instead of an open and free internet, what you get is silos of internet. And for each silos, you have to pay extra to enter. When we talk about economic equality, we are talking about affordability and uh, availability of internet connection. When it comes to internet penetration in India, it is below 20%. In comparison to countries like China and Brazil, which are also emerging economies where they have already achieved 50 to 61%. Now the debate is all about unrestricted access to internet, which is about net neutrality. But there is other flip side of this particular debate which says that probably Net neutrality is not the best way of reaching thousands of Indians, those who are staying in different or remotest parts of India. Reaching them is much more burning question for us than having an unrestricted and unfiltered access to internet. What is the solution? How net neutrality contributes in this particular situation? The expert says it does not contribute. In fact, it actually creates a lot of problem. Because suppose if we say right now the penetration is 19% and that 19% population start downloading videos, then the whole internet system would crash. Your infrastructure is not sufficient to reach everybody in India. Approximately 80 to 90% of infrastructure or broadband adoption has to go to 3G or 4G level to have that kind of experience in India. 
So now let us look at the situation from a very, very different perspective. Are your internet service providers making sufficient revenues or profits and are ready to invest in those areas where probably right now internet connectivity is not there? If no, then what is the solution? So probably your government has to stop charging a very hefty amount for giving them licenses or else they will be forced to charge a differentiating pricing so that they create enough revenues or profits and reach to the farthest or the remotest part of India. Chile is the country which has adopted certain laws regarding net neutrality and which is followed by Netherlands. Till 2015, there are no specific laws which governs net neutrality in India. But yes, there are guidelines by TRI, Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, which are called Unified Access Service License Guidelines. These are guidelines, they are not law. So legal framework is still missing. The second option is, of course, corruption, reducing corruption, so that they don't have to pay a very, very high amount in installing the basic fiber or towers and actually their cost reduces. Or the last option is creating new business models for them which makes this particular aspect profitable that when they are ready to create infrastructure for rural India also. So when we talk about internet or broadband connectivity in India and only unlimited bandwidth of 1 Mbps can enable the journal mass to have an equitable or you can say an equal opportunity to access and produce information in real time. This is where the whole debate takes a different perspective that net neutrality is very very good concept because we all need open internet, open and free internet. But before that, India needs to reach to the poorest. Before that, it is just an eye wash. Hope uh, you liked what you saw and what you heard and uh, you have a better understanding of net neutrality and the relationship uh, of net neutrality with economic equality. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or queries, please feel free to comment. Thank you very much.